So in the past, it has been suggested that possibly I am the starter of inappropriate conversations. As the years have gone on, I've started to realize that probably maybe this is correct. The other day, I was having a conversation with my friend and as so often does with me, we started talking about semen or more specifically what he did or what people do with their semen. He is of the opinion that Australian girls don't like semen or that Australian girls are a little bit frigid. So I needed to explore this further. Was there something wrong with me? Am I a semen junkie? I tried to assure him that it was pretty normal for you to shoot your load on the girl you're banging. I was a little bit worried that I was talking out of turn and answering for the masses when I shouldn't. So I took the poll to Facebook and it is a resounding, it's okay, as long as it's below the neck. Not in my hair, certainly not on my face, below the neck. Because honestly, ladies, I don't think this is your first rodeo and you knew that this was gonna be the outcome when you started. You may as well celebrate your spoils. You created that, you are the reason that he's doing that. You know what really gets to me when they stop and ask, where do you want me to come? Mate, you're the one in the driving seat. You're the one that's controlling this. Can't you make up your own mind? I'd only be sleeping with you because you're an adult. Adults make decisions. And let me just put this one out there. I do not want it in my mouth as a surprise. It's not a chocolate eclair. And while we're on the subject of swallowing, do you expect me to do it? Is this a conversation that we have to have beforehand? And you know another question that really gets me? When they ask if I can come on their face. It's like it's the easiest thing in the world to do. Mate, sure, I'll come on your face. You can bathe in it if you want, but you need to put in the hard works. It's not like a tap. You can't turn it on and off. You've got to really want this. And if you want it enough, Sure, I'll do it, just for you. So let's put it this way, ladies. It's just a little bit of semen. He's probably already had his tongue down your throat and you've, his penis inside you. So what's a little bit of body fluids between friends? Obviously, in all of this, I'm talking about if you're in a relationship. Safe sex is very important. If it's not on, it's not on. I have had chlamydia. It was one of the most terrible things that ever happened to me. And my vaginal confidence was ruined for years after it. So, remember the old saying, don't be a fool, wrap your tool. With love and lubrication, Miss Kay.